Well, this is Dan with Syntex, and today we're going to go over Unix. Now, some points we're going to go over is what is Unix, what is a directory, and we're going to go over some Unix commands and how to use them. So first things first, what is Unix? Uh, Unix is simply just an operating system. Uh, most computers nowadays use them, and most computers operating systems can trace their lineage back to Unix. Uh, it was based off of it. Um, Unix was developed in the 1960s by a small team of developers with AT&T's Bell Labs. So a little history lesson there for you. Um, now, the next point is, what is a directory? It's very, very simple. A directory is simply a folder. And let me show you an example here. So if I go to my computer, and we see here, these are just separate folders, right? A little folder symbol. Here's my applications, library, systems, users. These are just folders, right? Little storage devices. That is a directory. Okay? So now, we know what a directory is. Just simply a folder. Okay? Now next, we're going to go over Unix commands. Now Unix commands are pretty great. They allow us to manipulate and interact with our computer, uh, but they allow us to do it without a graphical user interface. Okay, so you might hear the acronym GUI, that's what it stands for, Graphical User Interface. So what we need to do, seeing as we don't have an interface to use them, we need to use a terminal or command line. Uh, if you're Windows, you can use the command line or git bash. Uh, for Mac users, we have a built-in terminal, which is great. And you can find it by searching for it here. And there we go, we have a terminal. Okay, so the first command we have is PWD. Now PWD stands for Print Working Directory. Now we know what directory means. It means a folder. So it means print working directory is print my working folder, something that I'm working with currently, what I'm currently in. So I'm going to type in PWD. And we can see here that it says I'm in users Daniel Sweeney. Now, I know that you see this little home symbol here? Mac is pretty fancy. They make it easy for us. I happen to know that I'm in my working directory. Uh, I also know that it's printing out the name here as well. But, always be sure to write PWD, and again, that is print working directory, and lets me know what directory I'm currently working in. Um, and we can also see, let me show you this in side by side here. I'm going to my working directory uh, under users, my name, and here we go. I have now within my working directory. Um, so here we go. That's basically it, guys. So that's print working directory. Now, we see here that the path is under users as it is here. And then it's under Daniel Sweeney, my name. There we go. So now I know exactly where I'm working with. And this is very important. You guys uh, will be making folders, um, maybe sometimes deleting folders. It's always best to know exactly where you're working with, right? So if I'm, let's say, I want to delete this work folder, um, I can do so. But if you start manipulating and changing things, if I was under guest maybe, I may not want to delete these things. So it's best to always know exactly where you are and what you're working with. All right? So that's PWD. Now we have the command CD. CD stands for change directory. So let's say I am currently in, let me go back. I'm currently in my working, my uh, home directory, right? So let's say I wanted to go to, mm, let's say my, uh, we'll say my pictures, right? My pictures folder or my pictures directory. If I want to be inside here now, all I have to do is say CD, all lowercase, space, and spell out pictures, as you see here. Uh, 
Okay, here we go. So now I have CD pictures, which means it says change directory, and I want to change to pictures. Well, there we go. Then I'll see where am I at. We can see here that it says pictures, but let's be sure. PWD, print working directory. So I know I was in my home directory, users, Daniel Sweeney, and then I went inside pictures. Well, there we go. I'm inside pictures, and how we can also double check is as I clicked into this pictures directory, this pictures folder, we see that it says photos library dot photos library uh, little file here, right? So one of the other commands is called ls. We're going to get back to this uh, tilde sign in just a second, but we're going to say ls, right? ls just gives us a list of things that are in our directory. So I can say ls, and there we go. Look what came up. Photos library dot photos library. Same exact file that is here. Okay? So ls just allows us to print a list of items or things that's inside our directory that we're currently in. Now let's say I want to go back to my working directory, right? My home directory, um, which is where most of your applications, most of your tools and things will be based off of under your home directory. If I want to go back to my home directory, I can type in C, I'm sorry here, go into my terminal, I can type in CD space and then this tilde sign. This tilde symbol just means home directory. It's just one symbol that means home directory so I don't have to type in my home directory's name I can just simply type in this symbol and hit enter and it brings me back to my home directory and I can check it by saying pwd and here we go guys my home directory now let's go to the next command let's see this ls space hyphen la what this is is it allows us to see a list of all files and directories, especially ones that are hidden as well. So you can see here, if I do ls, you see just these options here, right? Let me go over here. You see I have in my working directory, I have my applications, doc, uh, downloads, uh, movies, music, pictures, public work, and I even have desktop and documents here as well right same same thing as I have here now watch me do ls space hyphen la now a whole lot more options had just came up right so all these are hidden files and directories things that aren't shown by simply typing ls um, why that is is that sometimes when we hide these things uh, and the computer system does so it's so we don't see it and really manipulate with it because it can be very harmful and damaging to our computer and our computer's operating systems and all of our tools um, by going into some of these that we have no business going into and messing with it. Um, so be sure not to go into anything or manipulate anything um, that is hidden. Uh, sometimes you might not even have access to it, but it's just better safe than sorry. Um, make sure you're only working in the visible ones here. Uh, that's just something for beginners. You guys don't need to go into anything um, over here. So let's go back. CD space tilde. Now I'm in my home directory. Let's clean this up. There's also another command called clear. So once you have kind of a lot here, if you want to clear out the terminal, you can just simply type in clear and now we have a fresh terminal, right? Now we're still in within our home directory. It didn't change our directory. It just cleared all the logs there, right? So that I'm currently looking at. So I could be sure that I'm still in my working directory by checking it out, right? I am still in my home directory. Now, we have this command here called MKDIR, and it stands for make a directory, right? So we learned a directory again is just simply a folder. So we can see here, these are the folders or directories that I currently have. I want to make a new one. Let's say I want to make one called Unix. 
All right? So I can type in mkdir space and give it a name. I'll say Unix, as I said. And there we go. I made a Unix directory. I made a Unix folder. And we can see here that it popped up right over here. So we can see that when we manipulate and we use commands, we're directly talking to the computer and be able to manipulate it as well without having to go in here and right click and making in a new folder. Right? We can create a new folder that way too, and that's with using a graphical user interface. But I was doing so through the command line, through the terminal. I didn't need this user interface. So now that we made a directory, we made a folder, let's say I, I don't want it. I want to get rid of it. We have this command, rm space hyphen rf space, and then we type in the name of what we want to delete. Delete our directory, delete our folder. I don't want Unix anymore. I got rid of it. And we see over here that it is now gone. Okay? And there's one last thing. Let's say I want to go into, let's say, applications. Or actually, you know what? Let's create another one. Let's create another directory. MKDIR space. We'll make another Unix one since I just deleted it. Okay, here we go. I just created Unix, as we see here. Now, I want to travel to the Unix, as we stated. So I want to change my directory. And as we talked about, CD is change directory. Now I just need to tell my computer which one I want to change to, which was Unix. Now I'm inside my Unix directory, my Unix folder. Now I want to create another folder. I can do so mkdir space let's say commands now I created another folder named commands another directory now let's see I am in my Unix folder I'm a Unix directory I know so because a it says it right here it helps me out or I can type pwd again right here we go I'm in my Unix now, let's see if my folder was created, my directory was created, ls. Inside my Unix folder, my Unix directory, I created another one called commands. Let's see. Here we go. Matches up, right? Now, let's say I want to go back one directory. I just want to move back one. I don't want to have to type in cd unix. It won't, you don't need to do that. All we can do is just type cd dot dot. And that just means go back one directory. Go back one place that I was just at. And we can see that I was in my Unix. Now I went back one. And now I'm back in my home directory. Okay. I went back one. So let's show you here. I was within my Unix. Now I go back one. Now I am in my home directory. Okay, now let's go back to my Unix. Let's say cd uh, Unix. Let's do cd commands. Now I have navigated into my commands folder within my Unix into my commands. Now if I want to go to back to my home directory as we talked about we can use the command cd space tilde but in this case i know that i am two spots away from my home directory right i'm one with inside my commands and then if i go back one more make it two now that i'm in unix i go back one more now i'm in my home directory so i want to go back two spaces how we could do that is by saying dot dot go back one forward slash dot dot and go back two. Let's say I was four spaces in. I can just keep this going 
until I reach where I wanted to reach and go back as many spaces as I want to. So I went back to, and we see here, I am back within my home directory. Now, obviously, when you go back to your home directory, it is much simpler and easier and suggested to use this here. All right, so let's do a quick recap. We went over what is Unix, what is a directory, and we went over Unix commands and how to use them. PWD, print working directory. CD, change directory. Tilde means home. This tilde, the symbol you see here is a tilde, and it means my home directory. LS means a list of all directories and folders, right? Same thing, directories and folders. LS space hyphen LA means give me a list of everything, files, directories, and even hidden files and directories, things that I really shouldn't be messing with, right? Now, there's also MKDIR. That means make a directory. We'll use that plenty of times, right? And then RM, RF is removing a directory, deleting a directory. Okay, guys, that was a very quick Unix intro uh, and quick, simple, most common commands uh, and how to use them. So feel free to go back and rewind and see how we use them. And um, happy coding, guys.